Hi there, welcome. It's Bernadette Doyle here and I have a tip for you that is going to take me about five minutes to share it. But I promise if you really take this on board, this has the potential to be life transforming for you. And I don't say that lightly. Um, I, I had an email from a client recently that said, Bernadette, thank you so much for that five minutes you gave us at the end of the call. It gave me at the end of the call because I took action on what you suggested and it made me an extra £12,000. So I'm really clear that um, five minutes at the right time can make all the difference. And this is something that applies to everybody who maybe has a, a goal or something you're working towards, but you don't have yet. So that's all of us, right? Because <laughs> we've all got things uh, that we're we're working on or things that we are you know, planning to create or bring into our lives that haven't been made real yet. So I want to share with you something that um, I haven't really talked about explicitly to many people, um, but it's definitely been something that has contributed a lot to me being able to call in and make real um, certain things in my life. And when I've shared it with clients, they've seen dramatic results from this as well. And it really comes down to this. It is the distinction between thinking about something versus deciding to have something. So, for example, let's say you have a goal around your business and you want to, you're, you're, so you're thinking maybe about starting a new business or you're thinking about creating something new in your business, but you're thinking about it. So as long as you're thinking about it, you haven't actually made the decision to make it happen. And so when it's in the realm of thinking about, it's still in the realm of possibility, might happen, possibly going to happen, might not happen. And, it, and, it, and it's in a different area of your brain than if you've actually decided to have this happen. So I'll give you an example from my family this morning. Um, this morning when I woke up, I decided that I didn't decide. I was thinking about going out for a walk with my sons. There's a walk that we do know our home on Cave Hill. And it's a while since we've um, as well since we've done it. So I was thinking about us going for a walk and I was giving the kids their breakfast and I was talking about that we might go for this walk and we were checking the weather because it takes about two hours to do. And I was kind of checking in with my timetable because I had an appointment at three o'clock. And at some point in the conversation, we made the decision, right, we're doing this. And the moment that we made the decision, then things started to happen. We started to pack the bag. We started to get our clothes on and make sure that we have the right walking shoes. And it was at the moment that made the decision that things actually got into action. Now, you could say, OK, well, great. So once you make a decision, that means that you, um, you know, you, once you make a decision, you start taking action. And that's absolutely true. And so there could be something that you've been thinking about bringing into your life. But you actually because you haven't made a decision yet, you, you actually haven't taken action. But there's more than just this. There's more than just, well, you make a decision and that gets you taking action. Yes, of course, there's inspired action to take, but it's more than just action that comes into play when you make a decision. So let me share with you a quote that really, really sums this up. And I'm going to give you another example. So um, this quote, you might have heard it before. It's often attributed to Goethe, um, but it's actually, it was a, a man called William H. Murray who wrote this on a, an expedition. And he wrote in his diary, until one is committed, there is hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. That the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help that never would have otherwise occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's favour all manner of unforeseen incidents and meetings and material assistance, material assistance which no man or woman, <laughs> my edit, could have dreamt would have come his way. Now, um, that's one of my favourite quotes, and I've lived by it. And any time I am working towards something, and maybe in that space of getting frustrated because it hasn't happened, I always want to check in with myself: Have I actually decided to have this thing? And that can come out in all sorts of ways. So I'll share with you. Um, I had a I had a dream recently. Um, just to back up, there's there's a project in my business that 
it just like what's been happening in the outside just hasn't matched the vision I had when I started this project. And um, frustration is the wrong word, but it just it just hasn't kind of played out as I expected. Anyway, so I had this dream. I was on Necker Island and I was walking with one of my mentors. It wasn't Richard Branson. It was another mentor. And in the dream, she said to me, so have you actually decided to make money at this thing? And it took me a while, but after I was thinking, what a powerful dream to have. And then I was like, oh, the question wasn't about money. The question was about the decision. Had I decided? And I realized, no, I actually hadn't made, I really hadn't made that decision. So no wonder I was getting kind of mixed results in the external world because I hadn't made the decision on the inside. So I wanted to share this with you because I just invite you to start thinking about the things that you've been wishing for or hoping for or thinking about. What would happen if you actually made a decision? Notice the energy is completely different. When you're thinking about something, it's impossibility. When you're wishing for something, it's almost like you're hoping that someone or something is going to bestow upon you the universe, some sort of benevolent um, authority that you're you're keeping your fingers crossed and hoping for it. But once you decide, this the energy of decision is very different. It's like, this is going to happen. This is it. It's on. So that's the first thing. And I was sharing this on one of my events with a group of my clients um, at one point. And I, and I invited them, and I'm going to invite you as well, to pick something that you have been thinking about and just make a decision about it. Now, I, I, I'm inviting you, pick something that doesn't have a lot of emotional charge or a lot of story around it. So, you know, if you were to say, well, I, I've decided I'm now going to have a million dollar business and you haven't started your business yet, there's a good chance that there's some limited beliefs and stories and, and, and stuff that is delaying the manifestation of that. So pick something that it, it doesn't have, you haven't got a lot of emotional attachments. What I picked picked was... Um, the movie, The King's Speech. And so I was just like, okay, I'll just pick this as an example. The King's Speech, it had been out for a couple of years at that point. It had won the Oscars. I hadn't watched the movie and I'd been thinking about watching it, but I hadn't done anything to to make it happen. I hadn't gone to try and find the movie or download it or anything like that. And so I said, right, here right now, I am making the decision that I am going to see The King's Speech. And I'm not going to take any action I'm not going to now go home and start looking up, ordering it on Amazon. I'm not going to take any action. I'm going to see what happens when I make the decision without taking any action. So remember the quote that I just shared with you is all sorts of things occur to help that never would have otherwise have occurred. In less than 48 hours, I was flicking through my newspaper and on the TV pages of the newspaper, it showed that on Channel 4 that night, what was on the King's speech. So without me taking any action, just the power of decision, things happened in my world that made it possible for me to receive and experience the very thing that I decided. So I don't expect you to take my word for this. I encourage you to be your own authority. You are your own authority. But this is such a powerful tool that it really deserves to be in your in your toolbox. And so I do invite you to play with this and maybe pick an area that's got like low charge to it. So it's it's not something that you have a lot of story around. You know, I mean, I I wasn't really bothered or not whether I saw the King's speech, but I, I just made a decision that I was going to see it. So I didn't have a whole lot of story of like, I don't deserve to see this movie or um, I've been trying for years to see this movie and it's just not happened. Maybe um, the universe thinks I'm I'm not worthy of seeing this movie. I'm not good enough to see this movie. A lot of a lot of those stories notice that come into play when with other goals that we have. Um, because there was none of that, it was just like it, this was able to manifest within 48 hours. And so I encourage you to pick something like that that does not have a lot of charge to it to experiment with this. Because um, if you find that this works for you, then why wouldn't you start to add it into your repertoire whenever you are uh, setting intentions, goal setting, planning? So I just wanted to jump on today and share that with you. And I hope um, that has been great for you. Um, So that's it from me. Would love to hear um, how you get on. I'll see you next time. Lots of love. Bye.